Hello one and all. So today we'll be looking at some demonstration related to PyMol. So we have demonstrated PyMol in uh, previous videos as well. So you can look up to those videos if you want to get to the installation part of PyMol using either of the system, your Linux, Windows or Mac. You want to install PyMol, what is the basic use of it or the, for the beginner's guide, we have already uploaded that particular video. So in today's video, we will be looking at uh, like what are the things you can do with PyMol. So there are multiple things you can do. So we will just focus on some of the part of it. So first is your as it is a data visualization tool, what kind of things we can visualize. So first thing is if you want to clean your protein from the heteroatoms, heteroatoms means any atom that is not your protein. Okay. And you want to clean your protein and make it ready for your docking exercises and likewise. Okay. For that particular thing, we will be doing today. Okay. That is your cleaning of protein for all kind of heteroatom, be it your metallic ions or your uh, like non cofactor metallic ions and your water molecule, this, that. Okay. So we'll be cleaning our protein and make it ready. And then how to represent that particular protein in terms of your publication. Okay. And we will also see how to do the interaction mapping and things like that with a docked result as well. Okay. So first, uh, first things first. So basically we can go to your regular search engine, whatever search engine you are utilizing. So in this case, I'll be taking Google. Okay. So here I'll be searching for, let's suppose PDB. So from here we'll be taking our protein for cleaning purposes. Okay. So that particular protein that you are taking, uh, that might be a protein of interest that you want to proceed for your docking simulation or things like that. So before that, uh, you have to clean that particular protein. So let's suppose we are taking 7BV2. So this is a protein ID. You can uh, directly type in the name of the protein also that will also work the same. Okay. So this is the protein. Basically, this is the combination of NSP 12, 7 and 8 complex. Okay. So here you can see from SARS-CoV-2. So you can either go to download files and download this particular thing in PDB format and then double click on that and open it in PyMol or another way is you can just directly go to your PyMol. Okay. So how to install the video is already there in Biotechnica uh, YouTube page. You can type in Python demonstration uh, for beginners. You will get that. Okay. So here we come with the PyMol interface. So this is the black screen where your molecule will be loading. Okay. And the basic things are explained in the previous video. Okay. So basically you can go to files, get PDB. If you, if you don't want to download that particular structure and open it over here, so you can directly uh, type in the uh, ID, uh, uh, PDB ID basically, that was your 7BV2. Okay, so click on this one and hit on download. Okay, so once you hit on download, see the molecule is uploaded over here. Okay, so you might be getting some molecule which is having... Um, like much higher amount of water but here we ha are having only three four molecules of water this particular red crosses our water basically and here we have some dna attached to it okay so after that you have certain molecules which are of no use to us okay from the literature we already know and we want our clean protein so how to do the cleaning of the protein okay so cleaning of the protein is very simple. You just have to go to your mouse and select because by default it is always on the residue. You should ideally go for the chains once you select the chains. So you can select the chains one by one and hit on remove. So that is the easiest way Okay, that you can do. So there are other ways as well. Okay, but this is the easiest way. You just have to select those and hit on remove. Okay, so yes uh, so this particular metallic ions we have removed and if there are ligands already attached to it or inhibitors attached to it we need to uh, remove those as well because this might hinder with our interest of ligand that is why okay so we can hit on this remove again two more left this one remove and again right click select this one right click remove okay so when it comes to water, you don't have to do this particular job rigorously. So instead of, so you can see this water molecules. So for this, you have to go to all. Okay. So this are 
basically in all or if you select something so it will be under this sele that is selected okay so you can go to all and hit on remove water so it will remove all the water if it is surrounded by water also so in that particular case also it will remove all the water okay so now you can highlight if you want only one chain so you can remove the other ones okay here there are multiple chains to it okay so this is one chain that is why this is a whole big chain so that is why it is selected we can remove this one that is not of our use okay so yes this is this is the complex okay because we were having three complex nsp uh, three complexes were there and this is one of them okay so now you can highlight this one in uh, several colors that you want so now we are moving on to how to represent this particular thing for your publication purposes or likewise if you have a docked result uh, with you so in the similar fashion you will be doing you can color your ligand in a different color and represent your protein in a uh, in uh, some other color that can be done or if you are representing a protein as a whole so you can hit on select go to colors and you can give a spectrum or if you want to give it a mono color only so that you can do just like your sign you can do what kind of sign okay so this uh, the mono color you can do or based on chains also you can color it okay so you can go to color go to spectrum and based on what uh, based on the elements uh, you can do or based on this you can do a rainbow color okay so here you can see it looks more lucrative now okay so further if you want to represent it in a better way or you can zoom in zoom out you can maneuver it whatever uh, like uh, what do you say orientation looks good you can take that one and much more thing you can play with so you can go to display you can go to sequences if you want to know about which particular type of sequences here you can see what sequence is colored with what part you can hit on this and that particular part will be selected and likewise okay so you can again go to display and uh, for publication you always have to do one thing you have to do the background white mostly okay so that it is represented well okay so then you can go to display change the quality to maximum quality possible okay then again you can go to display and uh, like uh, your do this uh, color spacing as your for publication it is already recommending so you can see for publication the colors are not that bright okay so that it represents well uh, when it is in a png format and likewise okay so multiple things you can do okay so you can go to uh, like settings you can change labels okay you can represent it in different forms like your ball and stick and likewise okay so ball and sticks you have to select that one first okay so then for setting you have to go to ball and stick in a particular ratio you want to go about or in a cartoon what kind of representation you want to change cartoon is the best one because it shows you your helices as well as your like um, beta sheets and helices in a proper way okay so yes uh, like quality we have done with uh, settings we can go and change multiple things like surface you can go to if you want to do it surface ribbon, uh, ribbons you want to modify those okay that can also be done in part of display also okay you can go to like zoom in okay so there are multiple options you can uh, play with basically okay so uh, just like labels you can do okay font size you can change okay based on that then your colors obviously from this also you can change you can go to ca a cartoon and go to fancy helices okay so see now the helices are more well defined you can see okay so likewise so now in a you can maneuver it and in a particular orientation you don't have to take any screenshot you can just go to files just wait. yes so basically once you are done with this you can straight away go to your files and save session as okay or if you want to import it as an image obviously you can import it in various format like your png you can do okay so that will be your image format and likewise you can save it and use it for your publication purposes okay so this is how you represent a protein okay so now we will go into some details of how to do the your interaction analysis for this we need something called as your you can delete it or uh, like uh, remove this particular whole thing and another way is so i have opened in that particular way another way is 
I already have some docked result by my side and go to there okay that this is the docked result okay so first time it will open skip activation every time it is uh, it will be asking for your like license you don't have to take it okay so you can use it for free okay for n number of days it won't cause any problem okay so here you have the protein and this is the ligand okay so in order to define them or you know, like in general representation if you want to differentiate between them you should ideally uh, like do some different coloring for both of them okay so let's suppose I'm doing uh, not too much bright color you should opt okay cyan green maybe and for your ligand I can choose a color like uh, magenta okay so here you can see you can easily differentiate which one is the ligand which one is the protein okay so now after this you can go for like select both of them okay go to selected part and go to actions okay you can like uh, do modification okay present something or find basically polar contacts okay polar contacts within the selection okay you can do so all kind of interaction will be shown over here okay further what you can do you can click on this uh, like both of this initially your protein and then your ligand okay then again go to your selected part go to labels okay you can do it as residues or atom names so better to go for atom names okay so see too much things are going over here so it is better we cannot focus okay too much things are going so it is advised that you select the ligand in this case okay and go to your action and go to oh just wait for a second yeah and go to select and go to orient okay once you go to orient now you can see it is zoomed out and now you can focus easily so what is the interaction in between you can see so here you can see this this particular part of this hydrogen uh, of this ligand is interacting with uh, your O of the protein okay and likewise so there will be multiple so here also you can see okay OH from this so the hydrogen of your ligand again interacting with the oxygen of your protein so there you can see a bit of gap but that is actually in a 3d space obviously so in actual thing it is not having a gap okay so likewise you can do multiple analysis so this is just a zest of it okay so if you want to dive deep into multiple analysis you should ideally join our course and you should get much more application of all the tools that we utilize and you can take up a project to experience how you can utilize them in the real life scenario and what are the uses of those okay to execute something novel okay so that is all for today if you have any questions comment down below okay and write down what do you want next as a demonstration thank you everyone have a nice day ahead.